In this video, I'm going to show you step by step on how you can set a limit order for both the buy and sell side on crypto.com exchange or CDC for short. The process in this video is applicable to any coin offered on CDC. Now, if you by chance don't already have an account with CDC, I'll leave a sign up link down below. That said, let's get started. Just before that though, if you didn't already know what a limit order is, here's the definition which is from Investopedia. A limit order is a type of order to purchase or sell a security at a specified price or better. For buy limit orders, the order will be executed only at the limit price or a lower one, while for sell limit orders, the order will be executed only at the limit price or a higher one. This stipulation allows traders to better control the prices they trade. By using a buy limit order, the investor is guaranteed to pay that price or less, while the price is guaranteed the filling of that order is not and limit orders will not be executed unless the security price meets the order qualifications. If the asset does not reach the specified price, the order is not filled and the investor may miss out on the trading opportunity. That said, let's get started with how we can set up limit orders. So right now I'm on the homepage of CDC and what I'll then want to do is go over here to spot and then click on that. When I do, it'll bring me to the trade dashboard. After, I'm going to select the coin and trade pair that I'm interested in putting that limit order in for. For the purpose of this video, I'm interested in putting in limit orders for Solana. So what I'll do is go over here, select this drop down menu, and then type in Solana. So S-O-L, and here we are. So I'm going to click on this. And when I do, it'll bring up the trade dashboard for Solana. Now to put in a buy limit order, I'll want to make Make sure that the buy tab is selected and that limit is selected over here. I'll then enter in the lowest price that I'm willing to pay for Solana. The most I'm willing to pay is $30 per Solana. So I'll enter that in here. So $30. Next, I'm going to enter in the amount of Solana I'd like to buy or the dollar value in USDT that I'd like to purchase. All you need to do is enter in one number in either box and the other will automatically change. So for example, if I'm interested in buying one Solana at $30, this will automatically input or let's just say I'm interested in buying $10 worth of Solana. This will automatically input as well. But for the purpose of this video, let's just say I'm interested in buying one Solana for 30 bucks and then I'm going to click on buy Solana or buy Sol. And as you can see over here is my order. So basically it means means that if the price of Solana goes to $30, I will be purchasing one of them at 30 bucks. So that's for the limit buy order. Now let's take a look at how we can do a limit sell order. So I want to make sure that I click on this side over here where it says sell, and I want to make sure that this limit tab here is selected as well. And basically what it's asking is at what price am I willing to sell my Solana for? So what is the minimum price? So just kind of like before, going to enter in my lowest price that I'm willing to accept. So let's just say I am willing to accept $33 per Solana. And then just like before, I'm either going to enter in the quantity or the amount of Solana that I'd like to sell or a dollar value of Solana I'd like to sell. So for myself, let's just say I'm interested in selling 0.4 Solana. And that's how much I'll get if it sells at $33 per Solana. Or let's just say that I'm interested in selling $10 worth and this part here will automatically adjust. So I like what I see. So I'm just going to click on sell Solana. And as you can see, my sell order is over here. And essentially what this means is that if the price goes to $33, I will be selling this amount of Sol and I will get $10 for that. So that's pretty much how you can place both a buy and sell limit order on CDC. I do want to point out that because this is the spot market, you'll have to have the coins in your wallet first before you can place these orders. This is different from the future market where you can put in orders without actually having the coins because you're using your other coins as collateral to put on these trades. 